Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray, that's Koji, and today we finally saw the One Piece live action series. So for those who are new to the channel, I'm currently doing a One Piece pack opening challenge where I only have to follow two simple rules. Number one, I can only collect cards that I personally open from packs. And number two, I need to complete the entire set, including all of the alt arts and manga Sogi King in just 28 boxes. And if I fail to complete the challenge, well, that means I will be giving away one entire booster box to the viewers of my channel. Speaking of giveaways, the winner of my last video's giveaway is... That Pixin! Congratulations, That Pixins! You are the winner of this free pack that we will open at the end of the video. Now, without further ado, let's get to the opening. All right, guys, it's finally time to talk about the One Piece live action. But before that, let's quickly check our bounty list. So with the three hit streak that we've had, we are down to just 10 left in our bounty list with about nine boxes remaining, including this one. So hopefully we can keep this ball rolling and get this challenge finished, finally. All right, let's see first pack magic. Let's freaking go. So excited. All right, let's see. Uh, there you go. Come on. Why am I having trouble getting this pack out? All right, so look. Uh, first pack, we have Fossa. There you go. Focus. Thank you. Alvida, Gaiman, Striker, Rubber Band, Opera, Tooth Attack, Khalifa, Wanze, Pudding, and Blue No Rares. So, guys, it's finally time to talk about a One Piece live action. Uh, full disclaimer I actually have not finished it. <laughs> Eight hours of content is a lot for this old man, and I've only watched six so far. I've been watching two. Oh, speaking of the live action as we pull the Usopp SR. So yeah, I've just watched six episodes. What I like to do is watch two episodes per night just because the arc seems to be broken down into two episodes. So, you know, we've had one with Roman's Dawn or the first two episodes focuses on, um, I guess, going against Axan Morgan. And then the next two episodes, we had Usopp uh, and um, what's his name? Kuro. And then the next two episodes after that, we have Baratie and Zeph and Sanji. And then the last two, we have Arlong and Nami. So that's how I've been consuming it. And yeah, it's been great so far. Oh, as we pull the second SR, we have Porespero SR looking great. So yeah, so initial thoughts, all I can say is I absolutely freaking love this show. It is not the manga, it is not the anime, but it is still One Piece and that is why I absolutely love this. Oh, yes, there are some stuff that they cut. Yes, there are some stuff that is different. Yes, there are some stuff that looks weird in live action. But one of the things that I absolutely, absolutely love about this live action is they they cast it so well, you know, from the main store uh, Straw Hats as we pulled uh, the Big Mom SR, uh, you know, this action, this box has been amazing so far. But yeah, aside, you know, from all of the Straw Hats so far, Zoro, oh my, such a giga chat. Nami looking amazing, sly and, and conniving and smart and such a strong character. We have Luffy, innocent, while being so headstrong in his belief on the people that he cares about. And then we have Usopp, scaredy cat. But, you know, I actually really, really like the way, uh, you know, his relationship with Kaya. Um, yeah, so um, Sanji with Zeph as we pulled Polly SR. Yeah, Sanji's Jeff is, is so good. Yeah, the castings in the first live action is just so amazing. It just feels like One Piece. 
You know, it's been 20 plus years since I watched the very first episodes of One Piece. And I feel like a kid again, reminiscing about the old times. And I think that's what's happening to a lot of people who never gave One Piece a chance just because watching a thousand episodes is so daunting. Reading thousands of chapters of manga is so intimidating. That is a great way for them to actually... Oh, there you go. As we have our first hit with the Rob Lucci alt art. Oh, so I guess this box is going to be a leader box. So we will see if it's going to be a two hit or a three hit one. Will we get a wanted poster? We will see. So yeah, it's a great entry point for a lot of new people. And I think that's amazing. You know, some people are just turn off by the animation by cartoon by the anime and if they can get through one piece this way and feel the amazing characters that oda sensei has created and see some of the the world building and the camaraderie the nakama that one piece possesses you know then it's an absolute success and so far from a lot of the people that i've heard it's it's been hitting right from the people who are one piece fans to those who never ever read or watched the source material everyone seems to be just enjoying the performances of the live cast and i'm just so happy i can't wait to watch the next two episodes as soon as i can and yeah i can't wait for season two there's so many characters that i'd love to shout out on the live action you know shanks i was a little worried he kind of looked derpy in the trailer but man shanks his scene with luffy when he gave him his hat when he's saying goodbye oh it it was done so well so freaking well that i felt it uh mihawk oh man mihawk's introduction to this live action is so giga chad and his fight with zoro was done justice Zef's backstory with Sanji. I haven't seen Naomi's yet, but so far, definitely the best so far in terms of the backstory. And of course, how could I forget the best performance out of the first se uh, season that I think is... Oh, nice, as we pull the Marco SR. Yeah, so the best performance, I think, of the first season is for sure Buggy. I don't know who that actor is that portrayed Buggy, but he is menacing, but at the same time, a comic relief. And oh my goodness, it's it's the standout of the series. I love it. It's it's so good, guys. Oh, nice. As we pulled the altar done. So I was talking about Zeph and Sanji. One thing that I, I was, um, I guess, a little bit disappointed is that they didn't have that scene in the live action but i understand it just because they cut the don krieg moment from the live action to the um you know compared to the anime or manga so i understand why they cut it i still like their i guess separation or saying goodbye between sanji and zeph but i would have liked that special moment however honestly the my complaints about this uh, the live action has been more minimal. There are some stuff that I wish they would have hit. Uh, Dom Krieg was not... Oh, speaking of Krieg. Uh, there you go, Krieg SR. Um, but yeah, Dom Krieg uh, was uh, not featured as much in the anime or manga. There are some characters like Choo Choo that wasn't really featured that much. And Richie the Lion, I think, wasn't there. Uh, but I felt that they needed to cut some materials just because this is an eight episode uh, series and it allowed the show to flow a lot better compared to the anime. You know, I think the eight series or the eight episode series in Netflix equates to about 60 episodes of the anime. So you know, if if people compared that or complained that the One Piece was pacing was really really bad in the anime, 
then they should be happy that they were able to condense everything and it allowed the episode to actually flow. Oh! Speaking of Usopp, we have OG Usopp Alt Art looking absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, speaking of Usopp, Usopp's uh, relationship with Kaya, I thought is better in here in the live action than in the anime. Um, I really, really like it. And I think that they portrayed Kaya a lot better in the live action than, than the um, anime. You know, she looked a lot more frail and uh, it made sense in, uh, you know, the performance that she had in the live action. So, yeah, I, you know, comment down below, guys. Have you seen it? What do you guys think of the live action, uh, One Piece live action? It's going to be so interesting because there's going to be a lot of people where their touch point of One Piece is just based on the live action there's gonna be just um there's gonna be a faction of one piece fans that are only manga or only anime or only live action and those that kind of intertwine between all three so it's gonna be so oh nice as we have the sogi king alt art still one of the most gorgeous looking are in the entire one piece card game Man, I can't wait for Sogi King um, in the live action. That would be so dope. I Oh, man. Hopefully, they do a, a little song for him. That would be amazing as well. Uh, there you go. The two characters that are using a slingshot, but definitely, definitely not the same guy. You know? Obviously not. Obviously not. So, yeah. Comment down below, guys. What do you guys think of the One Piece? Um card game or not card game one piece live action do you like it do you not like it um what are stuff that you guys absolutely like what are some things that you guys didn't like uh one of the things that i didn't like too much i said for you know omitting some of the moments in the live action uh i understood just because to maintain the pacing as we pulled another sr we have the cracker sr so I understood that. Um, oh, so that's... All right. So that was the box. I wasn't even paying attention. I've been talking too much about the live action. But yeah, love the live action. Tell me guys down below what you guys thought about it. And yeah, we've had a three hit box that went by so fast just because I was talking about the live action and how much I love it. So... But we didn't have any hits. So we are still down to 10 left with about 8 bosses remaining. It's going to be tight. Um, we'll see if we're able to do it. But at the very least, I have two more episodes of One Piece Live Action to watch. So that's a plus. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed that three hit box. And now it's time to see what that picks in has won with their free pack. As always, that picks in. Good luck and believe in the heart of the cards. We have had one big hit so far, so we are definitely guaranteed at least one more big hit. Let's see if that picks in. It's going to be the lucky one. All right, first we have Praline. Mary, if you've seen the live action, uh, Rip, uh, Rhinoceros, Nero, Usopp's Pirate Crew, Out of the Bag, Any Slobby. Khalifa. Oh man, I can't wait if they cast her for season two or three. Chew Toy. Uh, if you've seen the live action, you know that um, he's part of our long's, uh, our long's crew. Fukuro. Again, uh, for the first rare and second rare, we have Buzzcott Mochi. All right. As always, that picks in. You have seven days from the posting of this video to contact me with your mailing address so that I can send Gin to you or Jin. Gin, Jin. Jin, Gin, Gin. All right. As always, if you want to be like that picks in and be part of my giveaways, all you have to do is hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. As always, everyone, I hope everyone will have an amazing rest of the week. And I hope you guys will watch the One Piece live action and give it a chance. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Cheers.